come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and germs, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. This is clearly the most fun that you're going to have with your day. Weak. Listening to Weak. us. Clearly. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> Uh, where we watch movies that are chosen round robin by some of the internet radio superstars that are sitting here at the table with me. Who are they? Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Holly. Holly, what did we watch tonight? <laughs> tonight we went to Miami. We did. What's a the little connection bit. Though? For a little what, bit what and then we went to Orlando. What is the connection? We'll find out. We watch Miami Connection. Will we find out? <laughs> I don't think we will. I don't think that's easily explainable. Well, we're gonna we're gonna do our damnedest, uh, listener. So, what year was uh, Miami Connection made? Nineteen eighty-eight. And uh, don't believe that. It's true. It feels like it was earlier. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Okay, it but feels like it came out earlier. eighty-eight. But nobody yeah. saw it on its first release. That's not true, Colin. <laughs> Some people did. <laughs> well, did it get did it get released? It did. Question. It had a two week run at select theaters in Orlando, Florida. So of course it did. Of course it did. <laughs> wow. The only place where they could play. <laughs> uh, true or false? I heard that the director of this, his name is Richard Park. Uh, Wu Sang Park, also known as Richard Park. Okay. Yeah. Korean fellow. Korean fellow. He took the movie to 100 different studios in Hollywood, California, to try and get distribution. And all of them told him what? No. A big fat no. <laughs> I thought they told him, no, you should just throw that movie in the trash. Basically, yeah. 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 But then, uh, why did we watch it? How how come we heard about this movie? Uh, well, YK Kim put a lot of money into this that? movie. YK Kim is the um, star of this film. Wait, you mean <laughs> Grandmaster YK Kim? That's right. Is he also the writer and he, producer? Um, and yep, he wrote, <laughs> director. <laughs> he um, well, he's uncredited, but he did direct a little bit of this movie, a lot of bit, I think. Um, yeah, he cast it. <laughs> He funded it. He promoted it. He did everything, really. He, at one point, he even re-edited a lot of it. Um, Most of the credits are just his name over and yeah, over again. Yeah, no, it's he just this is his baby. Um, I mean, we should, should we talk about him or? Uh, I'm curious. Who is this amazing fellow who's a Renaissance man? He is. He is a Taekwondo master, um, and he was actually very well known in the 80s around the Orlando area, like as a Taekwondo master. Um, which is how this movie got made, to be honest, because they just kind of let him do whatever he wanted. A lot of everyone in this movie, every single person in this movie, is just like an Orlando native that just liked him. Like were they <laughs> were they in his class? Yes, all of like all of like the, the the friends, the orphans, if you will, are all his students. All of the bikers are are local biker gangs that just wanted to be a part of this. The the cops in this movie are real cops. Like everyone just wanted to support him. This is just like an Orlando movie. So this guy's like uh, Korean Jesus. Kind of, yeah. A little bit. All right. So, uh, yeah, how come, why do we know about this movie? Well, we know about yeah, this well, movie. How did this, what is, I know, I knew nothing <laughs> about this movie well, coming into this. A, thank you, Draft House film. Yes, an employee at uh, Alamo Draft House found this on eBay for 50 bucks. You're the, talking, now the we're 30, talking about 30, 30, 35 yeah. millimeter. Yeah, the actual yep, yep. film print. He wow. got it on, he got it on eBay for 50 bucks and he, he, only- he bought it. And he screened it at Draft House, and people fell in love with it. How could she? I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. At one point, they even contacted YK Kim and everyone to see if they would be a part of it. And it, and YK Kim had such a horrible experience with this movie, like it ruined him. It just it broke his heart because people hated it so much. He thought they were prank calling him, like trying to get him to Aww. respond to this, and he just refused. And then he realized that they were serious, that people were enjoying this movie. So they actually reunited the whole cast, and they came out and had a big screening, and um, Dragon Sound performed. Oh well, my God. Per- well, performed, because <laughs> sure. yeah, they don't actually perform. <laughs> no. But, yeah. If you couldn't tell by watching the movie. <laughs> so, yeah, it was actually kind of a sweet story, because this, like, broke his heart, but then 25 years later, he finds out that people actually He's love the it. Korean Tommy uh, Wiseau. He's the right, Korean the Tommy from, Wiseau, uh, yeah. Or is it the worst movie, best worst movie? Uh, yes. Troll 2, the kind of... 
So it's that sweet wow. story of yeah, it's finding out sweet. you're famous 25 years after you did the world's worst movie. Because it literally is. It's exactly like the room screening. Because when they screened this movie, they didn't know that they, they had created a comedy until they screened it. Uh, and everyone just laughed hysterically. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not going to well, lie. Draft house, oh, sorry. Oh, if any of these actors were at a convention, I would for sure meet them. <laughs> I would for sure get an 8 by 10 signed by yeah, anyone I'm in this a, movie. Yeah. We're going to look like, at you, Michael Phelps. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know everything. Can we just, I mean. Please. Like, there's no more, no way it's more than like 10 bucks for an autograph from one of these people, right? It has to be. It has to be. Yeah. What was your motivation? (laughs) Why? They told me to show up on the. Why did you run through the drum? I was so angry. Yeah. Yeah. Why is there a jungle in Miami? <laughs> My karate teacher said I'm making a movie. You want to be in it? And I said, sure. Like, I, I yes. assume that's most of their stories. No, that right. is what yeah, actually that's happened. It. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. exactly what happened. Nobody, there's not one actual actor in this movie. No, you don't well, say. Believe it. <laughs> believe it. I mean, like, even like, even like a situation where it's like struggling actors that will be in anything. No, there's none. It's all just there's friends. A, and nah. I hear, well, I hear rumor that uh, Tom F. Wilson Biff from Back to the Future is in this movie. I didn't. I thought he was in I didn't spot Richard him. Park's earlier movie because Richard Park had done something before. I heard. I don't know if this is true, but like Richard Park was a director of like you know really awful low budget pieces of shit. Movies. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm sure they're very fine films out there, sir. Uh, I've never but, heard of any of. Them. <laughs> but yeah. he was watching. Nor can I pronounce TV most of them? If I'm being honest. Watching TV, he saw YK Kim on like a talk show, and while he was watching the show, apparently the plot of Miami Connection uh, came to him, and so yeah. then he called him up and he's like, "I have to make a movie with you. You know, will you do this?" Yeah, yeah, and boom, there they were. They're off to the races. Yeah, that's basically exactly what happened. Plot? I was gonna say, <laughs> I, that's a what are you talking a generous about? Word. Circumstances upon which this movie happens. <laughs> but the circumstances are fantastic. This movie has motorcycle riding ninjas mm-hmm. taking on cocaine cowboys mm-hmm. on the mean streets of Miami circa 1987, which means they're sweaty and in set to a <laughs> like uh, it's mostly Orlando. It's mostly Orlando. <laughs> well, that's the well. We got to what? How does it connect? To Miami. This movie cocaine, really did remind me of Samurai Cop. It really did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. So what? Yeah. What is going on here? I mean, there's in the opening <laughs> scene. The opening scene's fantastic <laughs> because it does have a bunch of. Uh, well, they're not even motorcycle riding ninjas at this point. They're like uh, uh, little hedgehog ninjas. Yeah. That yeah. We well, see Somersault. <laughs> rolling through the bush uh, behind a like a drug deal. Like I said, the down. jungle of Miami. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's fantastic. And then they're slashing dudes and yeah, arms are Box of drugs off. and a suitcase of money. That's yeah. Always is in Miami. Always. I right. mean, that's actually pretty close to what happens in Miami. It's, <laughs> yeah. That's what my. That's why Miami exists. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the only reason it's there. And I mean, let's be honest. That's the realest part of this movie is the cocaine and the money. The cocaine. That's, yeah. That's, right. that's only in the one scene. It's only the opening scene. That's I mean, it. they do bring it back to the dojo. Well, that's what you do <laughs> when you have your stolen cocaine and you're a cadre, a clan, clan? a murder of ninjas. What did we go with? It was a clan. A school? clan of ninjas. School, school, of ninjas? school of ninjas. I like clan Maybe. better because of the foot clan. Well, there's yeah. one of them that's dressed like Storm Shadow. Yes. Everybody else is in black garb. These are actually like straight up ninja ninjas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when like the stereotypical ninja from yeah. Ninja Magazine that I used to read when I was a young lad. There was, and you could buy Colin used stars. to read Ninja Magazine. You read, I'm sorry, we need to pause on this. You read Ninja Magazine. Are there photos? Okay, I like the fact that the thing that's not stopping you is there was a Ninja Magazine. No, this is that I read in Ninja Magazine. Yeah, well, no, yeah. both are there's, there's a magazine for every fucking Ninjas thing. Are, that's well, not yeah. surprising. It was probably like there was guns and ammo, and then like Ninja. So you're actually Jonathan Brandis from Sidekicks. <laughs> you fantasize well, about, about adventures with Chuck with Norris. More, well, yeah, I know you with did. With more mullet. Yeah. I know you did, because you love Chuck Norris. There was a, a TV show on TV called the master which was had lee van cleef you know him from escape from new york i do and yeah. Yeah. Bad yeah he was master ninja uh-huh. and i think he was like timothy van patten or something he had like was his student and they dressed up in the fucking ninja like outfits and like would i think shokasugi was probably in that we talked about shokasugi and like i mean i think when you talk about ninjas you have to mention this guy he was in ninja three 
to yeah. domination. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. He's in all the other. Enter the Ninja and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <clears throat> I think he was in the Master. Yeah, Ninjas were a huge thing in like 1983. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For a couple months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every kid wanted to have his fucking nunchucks. I remember, like, everybody I knew, I think, did have nunchucks. I did nunchucks. See, we got that. turtles. He had actual Yeah, nunchucks. yeah, we yeah. had the, we had that's the turtle what version. I think yep. that's the difference. I think that's because, like, the kids who I hung around with probably, made, like, made the Ninja turtles. turtles. Right, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Just our version of ninjas. Yeah. Uh, so these ninjas are sure. steal. They're making a wise investment opportunity. Mm. Entrepreneurs, these ninjas. Yep. Right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this goes against ninja teaching, but, you know, whatever. Like, you know, because Head Ninja, do we know his name? I don't know many people's names in this movie, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) Evil Ninja. Uh, White Ninja. Right, there we go. As in, like, White Outfit Yeah, White Outfit Ninja. It might be Yoshido. Maybe, maybe, you know. Well, we got to adopt might, something to might call be this it. guy I mean, from here on out. I mean, we can't go with Storm Shadow. We don't, we don't want to go with that. Is that Storm a, Shadow? Is this a G.I. Joe? Yes, it okay, is. Okay. I'm just making sure. He's the I white ninja in G.I. Right. Joe. Yeah. That's what I was making I'm sure. thinking it's probably Yoshido. Okay. We can call I'll him Yoshido. He's less cool than Storm Shadow. I'm just saying. Sure. Oh, Storm Shadow is awesome. There you go. So, uh,. Anyway, he is stealing money from the cocaine cowboys to put in that money. He's stealing the cocaine right. to and fund his dojo. Yes. Uh, well, I think he sure. stole the money, too. Yeah, he did get the money. Yeah, he stole he them both. Because he, 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 he was like, you got to get the money. He said that like three times. Yeah. You forgot yeah. the most important part. Yeah. Get the money. Yeah. I brought the he money. He said it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. So he has the money. I don't think he goes any further than that. No, well, no that's but, about uh, it. But the, there's a, there's a Miami connection here because uh, don't all right. believe it. he is in Miami, Miami Ninjas, and he is partnered up with what is later revealed to be his brother, Jeff. I don't think it's his. From Orlando. Okay, now, see, this is where I draw the line. Was it his brother? Because I thought it was the girl's brother. It is. Jeff is, yeah. Is it an adoptive brother situation? Is, well, is, is he the stepbrother? Uh, is he the stepbrother? Is that what we're going with? They have a ninja stepbrother. That's a better. I like that better than, than <laughs> just being like you're my brother. I like it better being his well, ninja be stepbrother. It's an out of left field, like you know, right. oh, your brother Jeff has died. Like, like right. brothers brother? in Christ. Yeah, or brothers and ninja. Brothers and ninja. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. Jeff looks like a low rent Chuck Norris, but with dark hair and like five feet tall. Yeah. yeah, like really short. Like a lot of people in this movie are really short. Very short, but except, except for, for Michael guy. Phelps. Yeah, I, and the one guy who grabs him once. That's about it. Yeah. Well, they're all like actual ninjas. All right, uh, martial arts students. These are the cream of the crop yeah. of the YK Kim like dojo. Right? So that, that's that's, uh, that's the funny thing about this though. There's a few students that they use because they know martial arts, but then there was a couple friends that they brought in because they knew music. So like um. Like, but they're not really good at either. I know, yeah, I know. Not- but like John Oates, he doesn't know martial arts, but he knows music. Wait, what are you talking? True. John, John uh, Oates, Daryl Oates. Daryl Oates. Sorry. He's in this movie. John Hall. Is it John? No, Hall? Is, yeah. isn't it yeah. Daryl Hall? Daryl okay. Hall. John Oates. All right, fine. It's John Oates. Have we yeah. Fin- so John Oates is in this movie. Well, you Angelo. know, I mean, essentially, That's his real yeah, his real name's Angelo. His real name's Angelo. But he totally has the John Oates hair and mustache. He's a exactly. fucking dead, dead ringer for him. He looks yeah. exactly like him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> This guy could go on tour. So, uh, so him in, and the him and the girl are were musicians. They do the music in the movie. They don't know anything about martial arts. There's music in this movie. Oh, oh Colin! Boy, oh, is Colin. there music? There is. I mean, a total of two songs. <laughs> two original there was, songs. Uh, there was like wasn't there three songs? No, there was just the two. I think it's. It I thought like there was, was one song. playing when we came into that scene, but I think maybe that was by a different. They band. only did two oh. performances though. Yeah. So the band true, is yeah, called Dragon Sound. Dragon this is Sound. important. This is very important. Oh yeah, because Dragon Sound, the band, is one of the most. Uh, I mean, they, they are a force of nature. You know, right? In, yes. In the Orlando, they're the area. essence of goodness. They run goodness that club and, essentially. Like it seems like, like the, well, they just got hired on. Didn't they? they got hired on and yeah, displaced a new another house band. band. Yeah. New house right. band. Right. They had like pyrotechnics and shit. They, they had all did. sorts of crazy presentation. Yeah. The other band is very pissed. Especially well, the one guy. Yeah, they're moving in on their turf, man. Yeah. 
And this creates a thing. So, I mean, are you keeping track at home, listener, with what's going on here? Evil it's ninjas okay if you're not. <laughs> are partnering up with Orlando Bat Drug Dealer, Yeah, right? Orlando Drug Dealer is going to partner up with and lend assistance to a dejected band uh, because they are upset that Dragon Sound, our heroes, have moved in on their turf at this club and they play awesomely uh, positive uh, positive. Music. Right. Positive Lyrically music. positive music. Yes. Like, did we did we establish why the the mob essentially is like helping this band? Did we? I don't remember the that bad band. Yeah. Because they, <laughs> they literally just go like, "Hey, help us." That was yeah. it. Basically, it's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. if okay. I make money, you get it. Like they're really they're so pissed and <laughs> because he goes in there and this place like this uh, new band came in and they uh, took our job and they beat us up. Right. We, that is right. like almost That's, the exact line. No, that was, yeah. yeah. Basically word this is for while word. They're we in bandages and right. bleeding like yeah. man, we need your help to take care of this fucking band. It's not even that cool, Colin. You just no, think they swear in this movie. Did. Yeah, okay. Without He's the swearing. Just, what is this movie like, rated? Yeah, they up R for all the boobs. Really? Oh, yeah. boobs. There's biker there's boobs, boobs and boobs. There's drugs. Then there should have been a couple of fucks if it's going to be rated R. No, no, it's a Come positive. On. It's a positive. Right. Friendly, I feel like they wouldn't boobs are positive. Let's just it's all positive. The bad guys couldn't say fuck? No. It doesn't have to be so. the good guys saying fuck. It could be the bad think, guys. It doesn't feel like the people Did, behind this movie was agree there, with cursing. But I feel like there was that moment when um, they cor- like they blocked him on the street. There was like the like the angry mob on the street. And he's like standing next to the car, yelling in his face, pointing at him. Oh, that guy was great. He was great. Didn't he say fuck at some point? I feel like he did. Mm, he just maybe. kept saying, get out of town. Get out of town. You- Get out, of, get town. out of town! Get out of here right now! Get out of town! Ta- I can't Listeners, even do there's it lots of finger wagging yeah, right yeah, now. Sorry. You have to know that. You have to He's have very your... poised, too. It's like... Yeah. That guy yeah. was fantastic. He, he was, was amazing. And every he, once in a while, he'd slap his big heavy chains on the car, too. Yeah. You, you, he, it was like a cat of nine get, tails, but with chains. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fantastic. after like nine minutes of standoff. Oh, yeah. yeah where they just... Kind Where the mob is other. just waiting for them to get out of the car, yeah. and they're not getting out of the car, so it's a really car. long standoff. It, yeah. it felt like a Simpsons gag, honestly. Like it felt like a gag already. Yeah. yeah, it definitely felt like a well, gag. Dragon <laughs> sound. Uh, the scene that we're setting up here is uh, one of the major uh, fight sequences, and the movie's full of fight sequences. It Probably was all full. choreographed by full. YK Kim. They were um, yes, but Dragon Sound is made up of a group of orphaned uh, college kids. That's important. Who all attend the <laughs> University of Central Florida? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, this is consists of uh, I'm sorry, was it Mark? Mark is played yes. by YK, YK Kim, Kim. Yes. Mm-hmm. who's easily forty years old. I'm sorry, he's probably in his thirty. But he's uh, going well, to college. Uh, he, he was he's th- gotta be forty. He was thirty nine like when it. they filmed it. He was forty when it was released. And he is 40. like off the boat Korean. It sounds like I know he was in the country for several years, but he like was but heavily he accented. Originally came from Korea. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. He came over here, I believe, to open a Taekwondo studio, and he did successfully. Yeah. Lots of students, well respected in the community, as we said. So he lived the American dream. He, he did. did. That's he awesome. Really did. He li- yeah. Love and it. And now he's a famous movie star. Yeah. Wow. He really. Yeah. On yeah. multiple levels. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and he's still like a very successful teacher, and he, yeah, I'm Even jealous, man. To this he's like, day. He's like oh, yeah. Miyagi right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So that guy. he, there's him, Mark. Mark. Uh. Then there's also um. Jim, my favorite character in the movie, Jim. 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 Shit. Jim. Jim is <laughs> the. He's a, Jim is. <laughs> he's the black guy in the group, and he is the only one who really has a compelling, uh, dynamic, a really to compelling his character. story. I would make the play for Michael Phelps as well, but yes, his is I know. the most the other compelling. Guy, yeah, Phelps is the most and, uh, and Janet, or whatever the hell her name is. Oh, what is her name? Bit, yeah. yeah. Oh, Karen. I'm sorry. Hold on. I got this. Well, and then there's the other weird gangly Jane. white dude that's not Michael Jane. Phelps, too. Right. Yeah. That yeah. I can't remember what his name is. I don't we, either. He gets okay, I don't know. I don't know which is which, but we have a John, a Jack, a Tom, a Jeff. <laughs> None of those sound know. familiar. A Tom, a Dick, and a Harry. Yeah. One of them is John Oates. Right. He, oh wait, wait, Angelo. Angelo, Angelo is, Tom. is Tom. Angelo's Tom. Okay, so Tom is yeah. the hollow of yeah. the character. Yeah. You got to yeah. imagine this guy yeah. like basically shirtless through the entire movie, Most and the he movie. is the yeah. shredder of the group. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, character. actually. <laughs> uh, Jim is the drummer. 
No, no, he no. was a dancer. Cause, <laughs> cause, well, no, they have instrument? they have two guitar players and a bass player, a keyboard player, a drummer, and then the girl just she dances. Was, a, was the bass was player, wasn't he? Was he a keyboardist? I, oh, he was. He was keyboardist. You're, right. keyboard. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I was like, I feel like they switched. Yes. Yeah. I feel like they switched because I I'm pretty sure in the second too. song, Jim was drumming. Yeah. And they Mike, switched. Yeah. She was singing. I believe. Yeah, yeah. And she was singing. Yeah. So they just all switch instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, oh, yeah. she sings against the ninja. Right. So. Well, which is one of the greatest songs that's ever been written for a movie. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, how's it go? Against the ninja. <laughs> that's that it. That's it. That's it. Over and that's over. That's it. Wait, is it something about we're going to win this evil war against the ninja? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's against profound. Ninja. Right. Profound. Something about Taekwondo is mentioned in there specifically, I know. It rules yeah. the world or something yeah. that will yeah. bring the unity. That dojo was mentioned at some point too. Yeah, I think there was a all those taekwon, taekwon. all those karate yeah. buzzwords are in there. <laughs> Does this movie take place in a universe where everyone in Orlando is a taekwondo student? Yes, yes, it yeah. has to. Yeah, yeah. This is not, <laughs> it has to. Not even nobody going like ah, you're reaching. No, no, it totally does. No, that's no, it. <laughs> because this still, this shit still happens. Like, I watch TV shows where, like, the main, it's a cop show, and the main guy is, like, he came over from China to join the police squad. And for every single episode, for, like, 50 of them, everyone they run into knows martial arts. Every single criminal they run into knows martial arts. It's just yeah. That was Samurai works. Cop, basically, too. Yeah, it's Samurai Cop. Works. Well, the reason that Actually, I- no. We we had that discussion. Samurai Cop was a lot less martial arts than we thought it was going to well, be. But they thought they were doing martial arts. There was a lot they of, thought their fighting was. There was a lot more guns than there yeah. was fighting. That's true. Yeah. yeah, you can't martial art a bullet. But they kept yeah. telling us Joe uh, Marshall was. A, was oh a yeah, Samurai <laughs> Cop. Samurai Cop, and there's yeah. very little samurai going on. But a whole lot of copping. Whole lot of copping. Uh, the reason I ask this question is yeah. because uh, there is a very dramatic scene where the uh, the original house band is kicked out of uh, the club where they play. This is right. I mean, the mecca where everybody goes on a Friday, Saturday night, maybe yeah. every night. I don't know. But if you're the house band in this place, you control like the whole area of Orlando, yeah. as far as I can tell. I mean, you Orlando. The other drug Orlando, dealers out. You are the, like, the sole provider in the economy, I guess, right? Like yeah. that club I mean, that's, keeps I mean, that's, Orlando alive. That's saying a lot. Orlando is a pretty large metropolis. I mean, the there's one club. One? Yeah, we're just gonna say that there is. All right, the beach in this Orlando, this yes. Yeah. In this Orlando, oh, that's true. This is this is our the beach, own, even though Orlando is like right. how many this miles in? This is our Orlando. own Orlando. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. There's no Disney in this Orlando. No, no. there's, <laughs> there's no, no Disney. Oh, it, there might be a Disney because he's wearing an apron with Mickey Mouse on oh, it. That's, yeah. that's so, true. There might be a Disney. But in this scene, uh, where the uh, the guy is told to basically get out, I hired a new, I hired this dragon sound. They've got there it's music for young people. Your music for old people. Dude gets into a fight with the like owner. Yeah. Yes. Busts out fucking karate moves. Yeah. Yes. Literally everyone knows yeah. it. It's, know. it's like you have to to live in this town. I and they're all so. ready to fight. Everyone. Aggressively all we, the time. Everyone aggressive. is aggressive. You've been training your whole life. You just want to bust out there those moves on somebody. <laughs> they are ready to throw down. Yeah. I love the acting where they're just the acting? All- <laughs> <laughs> the acting. Where they're all slightly Facing towards camera, just because that's how it's all set up. It's yeah. two guys mm-hmm. looking slightly towards camera, yelling at each other. That's <laughs> act. Did you guys notice? Okay, this is like my like sitcoms are really guilty of this of when two people are arguing and yelling over each other. If you just track one person's side of the conversation, she's like, "What?" But you, I know, uh, uh, it's like a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> yes. If you listen to it in yes. this movie, it's not even words; it's just noises. It's just noises. It's just noises. Most no, of the it's true. You pointed it out, and I was like, dear God, that's what's happening. Yeah, you listen to one person's yeah. side of, like, an argument. You can, uh, do this when you watch anything, because it, 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 <laughs> once you notice it, you're like, wow, that's some shitty-ass writing. Yeah. There are, there are shows out there that will actually write legit, conver- like, a legit argument between two characters, but, like, most of the time, it's just... <laughs> No, it's words nonsense. like that, yeah, yeah but it this nonsense. one is just like... Uh, 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 they're like, literally grunting. It. Yeah. 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 It's like two cavemen. When, what's her name walks through the gym. And she goes, yes. hey, guys, they're not saying anything. No, that scene it's like, drove are they me taunting crazy. her? I don't know what they're I doing. Don't... They're having a conversation amongst themselves. They're having a good time. <laughs> and they're like mocking like, They are enjoying the themselves. There's a shorthand there that they they're, seem to understand. They're fucking cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They are. They're dopey cavemen. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> That's act- but it goes- <laughs> actually what happened. But it goes yeah. on for so long. It goes on for so long. The scene did not long. need to be in there. Nothing happens Nothing in happens. Oh, mm. Well, it's, the There's biker a- the biker bar scene didn't need to be in there either because that literally did nothing but 
probably slow the story down even. I would argue. Inside a bar, bar, yes, they were. Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Sorry. Like, all right. the boobs. Do you not remember boobs. all the boobs? That's yeah. what brought me back. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's at one point. Yeah, we're yeah there. nothing happened, just boobs. Uh, yeah. But that is to establish, we're jumping ahead, but that's establishing our Miami ninjas moved into the Orlando area and they hang out at the biker the, bar. The biker bar. Which we have to spend like three minutes of just getting local color and basically like establishing atmosphere. It's like it's like if you were to pan out pan over all the extras in Roadhouse for like three minutes straight. Like yeah. that's what's happening. But it's worse yeah. than that. Well, a lot of this movie feels like that. At mm-hmm. the beginning, it was like, okay, there's nin- there's ninjas coming, and there's guys getting ready to do a drug deal. Yep. And there's these guys, they're getting ready to do a drug deal. Okay, we're still getting ready to, there's yeah. ninjas over there. Okay, we're getting ready to All right, a there's a bunch deal. in the trees. Yeah. Yep. All right. Scooting around. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then eventually, like, violence. Yeah. You know, <laughs> well, you gotta have the guy, you gotta have the scene of the guy tasting the cocaine to make sure it's, you know, well, actually coke. Well, that's a staple. Yeah. I mean, you, you have to. Yeah, you gotta have that. You gotta. Can you name our band Eventually Violence? Like <laughs> eventually <laughs> Violence. Eventually <laughs> Violence. I like that. Can yeah, only if you put a colon in there. Eventually, eventually colon, colon violence. violence. I like Copyrighted. that. I like it. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Copyright 2018. Yep. You had um, to think about that. You thought yeah, you were about to say 17, year? weren't you? Are we in 19 yet? Almost. Well, Almost. We're getting there. All right. So the uh, the the band. Uh, this is a good band. Uh, Dragon Sound. Dragon positive Sound. energy. Right. Mm. That controls the uh, entire area. That's what the kids want. They end up. Uh, they, well, they beat up the band that gets kicked out of the bar because that band is sore that they got kicked out. So. Uh, that band has to then go and, and then recruit they really the. Uh, they recruit this guy. What's his name? The Chuck Norris guy. He's like David. Jeff. Or Jeff. Jeff. Sorry, <laughs> Jeff. It turns out is the brother of not only you think the head ninja, Storm Shadow, but he's also the brother of Janet, Jane. the singer, Jade, Jane. the Jane. singer <laughs> of Dragon Sound. This dating Raining. Michael Phelps. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yes. You're not kidding, listeners. You know, he I, looks exactly like fucking he, Michael Phelps. I can't exactly. At all. Exactly. I feel like I need to make like a like a, a side tree. Side? No, like a tree oh. of like all the like relations of people in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. How we got to, to follow it. Yeah. Well, just because that guy's like the brother of this person right. who's also like the you know it. But yeah. the only relationship that aid. really matters. <laughs> oh my friend, god! The friendship. Jim, well, the, Jim. Yeah, Jim, but Jim and his father, and his oh. absent father. I Which mean, we find out in a scene that I, I don't know if you guys can. You oh got to do, try and Michaela? do this. Michaela. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you know this. Michaela, I know it. It's Michaela. Oh, so let's hear it. I think we just need to know. Michaela has watched this scene like okay. fifteen thousand times, and we this, just need to I'm listen so to it. Yeah. A moment to get into the character. <laughs> Every just, once in a while, I go on YouTube and just watch this scene, just because <laughs> it's it is entrancing. It, it's the first thing I'm going to do when I I'm go back on Prime later. You can go watch it, right? Watch the scene. It is fucking mesmerizing. Get kicked in the face later on in the movie because that was great. Great. That was great. I laughed so hard watching oh, yeah. this scene. Oh, yeah. I think I, was, I may have broken something. I was, I I was, was crying. crying. I, I was mean, crying. the guy's crying on state on screen. He's laying it all out there too. Oh, yeah. That yeah. actor's like, this is going my fucking reel. Like he's like, yeah. and like, did you guys notice he like steps forward like it's like a stage play? And he's oh like, yeah. Like, he's like, I'm gonna he's deliver this shit. Right. Yeah, he's got it's his like his the light should have gone down yeah. on the guys a little <laughs> right. bit and come yes. up on him. Yes. I like watching their faces in this scene too because they're like, they're just they're broken. And they're looking down. They're just like, Holy and it shit. comes out. And wasn't the scene before this a fight scene too? So like, they, it cuts pretty hard yeah, to like, yeah, because yeah, they were gonna shower. After yeah, that, I yeah. Mean, that's the thing. I got dibs on the shower. But they're all shirtless with towels over their shoulder. Yeah. And that's how they wait for their turn <laughs> to shower. You know. <laughs> this is at their house. You should yeah. say they all live together. Yes, yeah. yeah. they all live together. It was yeah. one of the most beautiful moments I've ever seen. I have never just, dude. I told you I'm obsessed one of, with this scene. I one cannot. Of the most beautiful seen. moments. Uh, I lost my shit. It was absolutely it's, beautiful. I could not get enough of it. Yeah, I can't either, dude. I, like I said, I've watched this scene a million fucking times on YouTube. So I'm it like, made what? Me so happy. Can you? Can you do yes, it? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, here we go. Right. Lights out. Wait, should we get you some onions? Because that's what he used to cry. <laughs> did he really? He did. Did he rub them on his retinas? Because <laughs> it seems I like he, he did. I think he snorted the onion juice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'll do it. <laughs> Colin was not ready for now that. Colin's crying. Yeah, Colin's crying. <laughs> Oh, Did he squeeze man. an onion? Is that how we get onion juice? Yeah. <laughs> juice it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, no, I don't no. know. <laughs> yeah, like you can, juice, you can juice an onion? Yeah. I don't think it works yeah. that way. Yeah. I don't think that. I don't think it does. I don't think. <laughs> Listener, if you juice an onion, please tell us. Fall apart. 
I think you'll just shred it, right? Yeah, like, you'll yeah, just like, just yeah. You can shred it. absolutely juice I do, an onion. Yeah. I don't. I don't think you can juice an so. onion. Uh, all right. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Your moment. It's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> and scene. All right. My mother was Korean. <laughs> <laughs> and my father was black American. She gave me the picture when she was real sick. I was only nine years old. They say that they loved each other and they were real loyal. They were really happy. But then, when he finished mil- mil- military duty, he left. And we never saw him again. She told me to find him. But I didn't like him because he left us. But I knew one day when I grew up, I'd find him. Whether he was dead or alive. I sent a couple letters to the defense department. <laughs> and nothing happened. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's how it this ends. This goes on yeah. for 15 minutes in this movie. It feels like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The full yeah. scene is. That's it. Quivering lips. <laughs> wet eyes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. I, I can't. I'm obsessed, oh man. That scene is Oh, this is all. Incredible. This is all. But this, is, this scene comes about because... Uh, the, a letter arrives oh. at the house. All the mail is addressed to Jim, and uh, Angelo, right, is like, "I'm not going to give it." No, the other guy is like, "I'm not going to give you the letter. I'm not right. going to give you the letter." And he's like Michael doing Phelps. ninja moves. I'm like, "Isn't this guy a fucking ninja? Can he like, Mr. Miyagi, like, and grab that out of right. his hands?" Mm-hmm. No, he's like keeping it away, playing a little game. Keep away. Five years old. Mm-hmm. And then uh, everybody else comes in and like shirtless with towels our, on their shoulders. Right, we're your best friends. Like, tell us what's going on. What is this? And then we find out this tragic, heartbreaking story. (laughs) And then we hard cut away from it. You had a father? I didn't know you had a father. I thought we were all orphans. Doesn't he say, he says brother. I thought he said father. No, he says brother. He's like, is that your brother? Is that your brother? I didn't know you had a brother. He's like, is my father. (laughs) My mother was Korean. Yeah, and that's when he lays into it. My father was a black American. I'm using that monologue at some point. Dude, my mother was if, Korean. If, if, my father was black American. That's the best thing. Like, you need to audition for something. Buzz out the fucking Miami <laughs> Connection monologue, man. Because no one will know what the fuck yeah. it's from. Oh, yeah. I brought my own if size. You can make that, yeah, yeah, if you can make yeah. that convincing, oh, you deserve yeah. every act. Right. <laughs> So oh shit. man, but that's I, like the Oscar <laughs> moment of this movie. I'm yeah. just like, all right, all right but go, you guys the logic were of this. I'm just like, somebody write a letter to somebody <laughs> saying where you are. You just went to the army. That's it. Watching you guys see that for the first time was amazing, though, because like I know, like, I, okay, the first time I watched this movie was by myself, and I just remember being like, what is? What am I? Like, no one. There's no one to like <laughs> validate go, what, what I'm. Yeah, I'm just like, what is happening? But you guys, man, you lost it during that I scene. I lost it. The letter opening scene. Is I it's didn't called. even know what was happening. I lost mm-hmm. it. Uh, it's out of the blue. Well, well and it's some... hard cuts to something else entirely, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Because then doesn't it cut to like they're practicing Taekwondo on the common, you know, in the common area of the fucking the sure. college or something college, like that? It's yeah. like, what? I mean, that seems to be basically the thing. We're either going to go to the club and play and watch Dragon Sound perform uh, like full on songs. Mm hmm. Uh, or we're going to be practicing martial arts or eating somewhere or at the house. and yeah. At what the house showering. Is the, <laughs> what, what, is, what is, and I guess this was kind of where, you know, it's like the movie was a lot of fun up until about this point. And then sure. it was like, okay, and then we started to kind of hit the brakes. Because yeah. then it was like, yes. okay, we have to be about something. There has to be like a plot here that's going to go toward the end of this movie. Mm-hmm. What is that? Fights. Well, well, it kind of changes after the letter opening scene because then the whole movie course corrects to being like Jim's going to meet his dad. Yeah, Just stop, stop everything. We got to get Jim a suit. Yeah, they they literally all pitch oh, in no, their no, money no. to get him a suit. Uh, but wait a second, no, the suit whole... comes after right. what I think oh, is the best right, moment right, right. in right. the movie. You're right. Where Jim, because Jim's always getting letters. There's at least three scenes where he <laughs> no, gets letters. Jim, this man needs to Jim stay away lo- from the mail. Jim loves getting the mail. He yeah. loves Damn the it. mail. You know? He loves the mail. But there's one scene where he goes out to the mailbox. Hey, it's my father. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> guys, guys, it's my father. Oh, my God. I can't even do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is... <laughs> Gut bustingly uh, tender, a uh, beautiful moment. Oh, he's so happy. Yeah. And all the guys pitch in, and we're like, what are they doing? They're pitching him money so he can go meet his father. Now they're pitching him money so that he can go buy a suit. Right. 
uh, to go he to the airport. He had a plane ticket, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Shoot, the Unless they're going ticket. to pick him up because his dad his dad shows up later. He's, so maybe they're yeah, just going to pick get, him up. He may, go, really going fast. to meet him at the airport? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think it is because he's a really fast. He just shows up later. <laughs> he's really fast. <laughs> when Jim's father does show up, it's he's like... Uh, Clearly wearing a guy wearing uh what do you call it? Spray on is that what it is in his hair? I don't know. I think it it looks like like straight up baby powder. Or like dry shampoo is what it looks like. Dry shampoo, yeah. It's a twenty five year old made him look (laughs) sixty. It is. It's crazy. Jim, I love you. (laughs) Uh no, what did he say? He was like, uh no, I didn't love you good, but I do now. You know, I'm back. Or he's talking about his friends though, I think. He's just like and I love him too. <laughs> I think he's just he's talking and about I will it. now. You have it some good friends like, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, uh, yeah <laughs> he should have been like Jim, I'm black American. <laughs> I'm Jim's black American father. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. I felt like that actor was trying not to move too quickly so that like clouds of baby powder right. come out yes. of his wig. It's yeah. like the way he yeah. moved was really weird. Yeah, if somebody puts their arm around him, they're like, welcome. And it's just like <laughs> <laughs> the cloud comes out. Yeah. Like, oh no. Not convincing. <laughs> and not the, it might break the illusion. Yeah, <laughs> the illusion of this movie. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, there's a whole bunch of run-ins that seem to take place bunch. in the parking lot of the uh, the college, where because... Uh, and then a train yard. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's like pallets you know, everywhere. I mean, yeah. This is what gangs do. You know, you kind of hang out. You know, This is before... The they didn't have Xbox back then, Holly. They couldn't the sit tracks. around in, in the house. They're from the wrong side of the tracks. There it is. Yeah. You sit around and you do that thing with your switchblade, you know, it's yeah. like really cool. Yeah, your butterfly. Yeah. The butterfly knife. Butterfly Sorry, knife. you go. Yeah. I was like, you that? can't swing a switchblade, Colin. Right. Uh, Throw rocks at you bottles. Can. Stuff like that. Colin can. That's right. <laughs> so later you sit around and, you know, do what else I like to do, which is breathe fire somehow on bricks. Mm-hmm. Before that before never before. comes back. Never it does back. breathe fire on a bricks. Yep. In the opening scene, in the opening of the movie, and then that never comes back. Never that comes should back. come back. It should. You're going to fight to the yeah, death. In the climax of the film, like that would have been. I think that's it, where you bring that in. I think it didn't come back because he couldn't break all the bricks. <laughs> he didn't in that scene. I know. It's yeah. thing. They're like, oh, maybe we should just leave it in the beginning. Yeah. This is Let's a movie that, that is made of like one takes because if you can't get into your car, Oh my Smoothly, god! Yeah. Like the Dukes of Hazard, doesn't matter. We'll keep that. That was hilarious. That guy totally wrecked his balls on that car too. <laughs> <laughs> like well, was- part of the problem was since we established that none of these people were actors and they were all students of his, um, they messed up a lot and they ran out of money after ten days because they had to redo. Everything. How much did this movie cost? A million dollars. What? The- no, wow. no. Yes. One million dollars. I can maybe see that. In eighty dollars? Yep. Oh my god. They had uh I, I don't see it. Okay, but whoever <laughs> lit the movie knew something. I mean, like cause I was like, okay, if you don't know shit about making movies, you know, you usually they don't know how to light. They yeah. under light, over light, whatever. It's right. like it was like Samurai lit. Cop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get that kind of flat looking thing. Yeah. It's like it was kind of lit. The camera did do like there was moments where like the camera actually moved. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was like nothing offensive about the lighting. Yeah, do those that. are the most experienced guys on the crew. They're the lighting guys and the fucking camera dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the million bucks are. No, yeah. Not, I think so. Oh, you're probably right. All right, so there's all these confrontations uh, that lead because basically the movie was I was trying I was trying to get yeah you guys to tell me this is like so basically there's two villains am I wrong here there's two there's a minor villain and a major villain and then there's a villain we completely forget about who's like the lesser villain yeah the the band the mob and the ninjas correct okay got it okay so somehow the dragon sound is going to have to face all three of these uh you know villains it's like a video game exactly level boss is like a video game yeah (laughs) so how does so i guess start with lesser villain this is the the uh band band. the, the other band how do they defeat them what's the last fight they get into is it at the quarry when they that wasn't with that band. That was with David's, ga- or sorry, Jeff's gang. The quarry. But they. When did they go to a quarry? Because they kidnap. I call it a quarry. They kidnap Angelo. They kidnap Angelo, and they fucking like uh, they, because they're going to Pizza yes. Hut. Yes. They're going to Pizza. The yeah. band's going to Pizza Hut to celebrate something. Yes. Probably like, is Jim's uh, getting the letter? No. 
No. Jim got another lighter. <laughs> he got another no, they, lighter. They, just, they were just, they got out they of just, school. They just wanted to go to pizza. They got man. out of school. They were going to go get They're pizza. They're like, we're best friends. We got to go to, yeah. yeah. He's their version of the Max. It is. Basically. It's this movie is Saved by the Bell with ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Explain this that. Pizza. It kind of, it really is. It really is. Zach Morris had a band that was yeah, shockingly Zach, similar Zach to Dragon Attack, Sound. The Zach Attack singing Friends Forever. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This movie is Saved by the Bell yeah. with ninjas. Oh, uh, there you go. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good case. Yeah. So... Well, An- yeah, Angelo is abducted yeah. at Pizza Hut because place. that scene is like the weirdest fucking thing, too, because uh, he drives a convertible car and they're pulling in and it starts to downpour. Yes. And That's everybody yeah. bails out and runs into Pizza Hut, leaving Angelo to park. Then, like, yeah. in the next shot, there is no rain. So there was like a brief, again, brief downpour. Again, it's Florida. That happens. But I'm like, was that supposed to be? I mean, I get it gave them motivation to all like leave him in the parking lot when he is then ambushed. I think by. they're going to do it anyways. Yeah, I feel like this yeah. is going to happen. I think, rain yeah. or, I, rain I, I think the rain had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I yeah. think that was just Florida weather. Well, well right, but it, mo- it gave a us a motivation shot. for all the other people in the car to leave. So that he was, I think they were just dropping them I, off. I, so I, he could yeah, go yeah, yeah, I think okay. they were just hopping out. And I think they were right. like pizza. Fuck yeah! Because and then yeah. just there dipped out. Not a door is opened in this movie. No. Well, Not Jeff one. travels with a uh, posse. Sure, yeah. Of at least five other cars full of. Uh, well, they're not real ninjas. They're like uh, karate. Hoodlums. They're like the. Yeah, they're the gang. It's like Hoodlums. a straight up caravan of street toughs. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. they Bats. train at a gym, which I assume is their lair. In jeans, they wear jeans in when jeans. they train. Several I, people in jeans. I was wondering, That's hardcore. is that like their personal That's gym, really. or is it like a club? I think it was their lair. No, it's because a, wasn't Janet. Jade, Jane, Jane, Jane. She goes into training Jeff there. Yeah, I think it might be. A I think there gym. was. A, I think there was another girl working out because I thought it was Jane too, but I think it was a different girl. I okay. feel like Jeff is the day manager of a Planet Fitness, <laughs> <laughs> and at night he's just like, "I got the keys. This is our lair now." <laughs> And so he like uses the his, his boss's <laughs> office as his office. Just clean up so that they don't know, guys. Just, right. You know, I feel like that's put your what's dirty going towels away. There. Yes. <laughs> that yes. feels appropriate. It does. That's exactly what it, it is. Totally there checks us. That's fantastic. That is amazing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I see it now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's always really dark in there. Right. Yeah. It's exactly. always at night. Right. They're not doing it during the day. Nope. Yeah. After it's closed. After hours of Planet Fitness. Yep. But they it. end up, I mean, this is like a major plot point, right? This gets us like to the, because otherwise it's like, what the hell are these guys doing? They're, you know, they have to, the bad guys have to get Dragon Sound out of the fucking Do you want to keep saying Dragon Force? Yes, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. Every time it's it comes like Dragon, like Dragon Sound. Force. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have to get them out of here because they can't like uh, do their whole drug trade as right. long as this positive, uh, energy ball of rock and roll is existing right. in the is center this of their is that fucking the kids town. are so distracted by the positive band that's come up on stage they don't need drugs anymore yeah because he says all that your that's brother it. does that's is it. deal with that's that the stupid plot of the movie. i think that's it <laughs> yeah that's, that's it. it they're so focused on this awesome band they don't yep. want drugs anymore that's right wow that's then we it. gotta kick them the fuck out gotta of get rid of the them. bad guys get back say. into the drug mm-hmm. trade so they kidnap angelo to do this they throw him in the fucking trunk of the car. And what does he say when he gets loaded in the trunk of the car? I forget. Mark's going to get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something along those lines. Well, they take him out to the fucking quarry. Yeah. It feels like a quarry. I, I don't you know, know if I it think is. It I think it's an a, elevator. I think there was a water tower there. Yeah. And yeah. Some, what would yeah. they tie him up to? It was like some so like kind of. Uh, of some sort. It feels like a quarry. Yeah. And. Cement mixing. So they wait because this is, you know, like now dragon sound will come to us. Right. Didn't they also have a fight with them during the day? Was that that? Was ba- that the, the pallet and the train yard? Yeah. Was yeah. that the the, the uh, original band? That's still not still. Or Jeff. was that Jeff? I think it's Jeff. Jeff's crew. I think it's Jeff's crew. Every time they get into a fight the with band, these guys, the dragon sound kicks their ass th- every yes. time. First one was just with Jeff and his crew, and I think the band, the evil band, joins Jeff and his crew at the quarry because the. Band members were there and get their asses kicked. Too. Okay, like we're putting a lot more putting detail together. into this than putting it yeah. together. Uh, and during this fight, this is when our heroes turn homicidal. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do. They turn real quick. Because Mark's Colin. just beating dudes in the neck with wood, 
and eventually a sword, a sword. or something. Cut yeah. it, no, it's just like wood. I thought it was a sword. That, he hits him. No, Ooh, he hits him worse. with wood. That's worse. It's just that wood sword thing that he's got. Cut him with wood? Wood? My God. I tell you, he just beats him in the neck with wood he and he's like bleeding and He just split his skin just yeah. right by hitting him with wood, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that's the sound. The hiss of blood. Yeah. Ah, the hiss of blood. Can that be our second band? <laughs> <laughs> the opening act for the, for the other one, yeah. Hiss of blood. That's our, that's our first album. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Uh, eventually, eventually violence. violence yeah, blood. <laughs> blood. that's a great <laughs> album. Copyright it. Oh, it's copyright in 2018. God, look for it this spring. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Um. Well, they do get Jeff back, but or no, not, not Jeff. Antonio, Angelo, An- Angelo. Angelo. <laughs> it's a, Hall, yes. Tom, Hall and Oates, dude. I think his name's Tom. <laughs> right. Yes. They yeah. get Tom back by uh, killing. Uh, Jeff. Yeah, they do. They beat everyone yeah, up and they they, they push him off the water tower. Yeah, yeah to yeah. his death. To his dead. death. He cracks his head open and there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood in this movie. There's, there's some more gore. Than I thought there'd be. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is this precedes, I think, the moment where the ninjas try to uh, attack the dragon sound and fail, and their boss Storm Shadow doesn't put up with any of that kind of shit. And the last guy comes back and is like. <laughs> He killed us all. They're all dead. Yeah. And he, Storm Shadow, fucking cuts it, and his head right off and which, close up of that. Which I liked that. Yeah, yeah it was that. pretty awesome. That was good. Back to the hiss of blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the hiss of blood. Back that's to the, the hiss of blood. blood. It's the second album. It's <laughs> all about, man, we're No, that's the third them. album after the second album didn't do so well. Oh, so the third <laughs> album is back to the You hit that blood. sophomore oh, slump, so you yes. gotta God, bring it back around. Is yeah. Wait, is the second album called Didn't Do So Well? No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Historically, band second albums are usually bad. Yeah. yeah. No. My God, that sophomore amazing. slump. <laughs> is ours just called the sophomore slump? Has you anyone might, ever wait, done that? Well, guys, well, a Fall Out Boy has a song called Sophomore Slump or Hit of the Year. Yeah, no, we can't, they embrace it. We can't be that on, on the nose of it. We gotta at least try. No, we gotta try. We gotta at least try. Some blood and Back to this. <laughs> we gotta figure out, we'll figure out a name for the second album at some point. Um, all right. So, so having defeated the, uh, well, I don't remember them defeating uh, the, the the lesser villain. I remember them defeating the mob. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, remember that. that either. It's just at some point they leave the movie. Uh, I think they just wait. get. I think they just get tired of it. They're like, let's just go sell right. drugs in Miami. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. Where yeah. We're Why are we wasting time in Orlando? <laughs> Why are we in Orlando. Let's just go back to Miami. Yeah. That's probably right. Yeah. I think so. They just like, yeah. I've had they were there for the one shipment. It didn't work out. They went home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To say nothing of the guys that they robbed. The f- okay. Or uh, they're like, why are we wasting our time? We just found a bunch of bikers. Let's sell to them. Should we talk about the artistry of the fight scenes and the. Uh, With the slow mo or. The what? Je ne sais quoi. Uh, <laughs> the athleticism, <laughs> the martial artists. No, maybe I mean, not. what are our thoughts? There's a lot of fight movie? scenes in this movie. I mean, I didn't think Michael Phelps was going to do anything in this movie, <laughs> let alone do it. All right, boy, were He's you wrong? Not bad, you were wrong. Yeah, I- are you talking about toward the end when well, we're we're fighting all the ninjas because they're trying to stop the uh, gym from getting to the airport, and it's like, no, this is it, final battle, ninjas from Miami on motorcycles attacking our heroes. Well, yeah. Oh, if, yeah, because I mean, I, I felt like I felt like the other fight scenes. Michael Phelps was just running a lot. He does. He does. He lot. doesn't and hunting and over because he's so tall. He's yeah, gangly. he's gangly, and he, but just, he can throw a kick. Yeah, he surprisingly. Can, but he didn't do a whole lot until he found his ninja rage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why, why does he have ninja rage? Someone sliced up Jim, Colin, and then someone sliced up him. <laughs> it's a yeah, tragic moment. I mean, Jim's on the way. This is why I'm like, Jim is the fucking central character of this. He's movie. the heart he's, of this movie. He's the heart. The heart, maybe. Yeah. Because yeah. he's on the way. He's got a new suit. He's got a brand new yes. suit. And he's on the way to like meet. like on it, too. Yeah. He does. Like <laughs> he does. Uh, the second album is called Sliced Up. Sliced, Sliced Up. Sliced Up. Sliced That's up. the second and album. And the return right. of the hits of blood. Yeah. I like it. Okay. But he's on the way to the airport to meet his long lost father. <laughs> yeah. Got a new <laughs> suit. My dad. Gonna... <laughs> oh, my God. And all of a sudden, that was pretty. We're getting, <laughs> there, we're getting there. Oh, my God. <laughs> And they're just stopped by these it's fucking like rascally, rascally ninjas <laughs> who chase them into the Everglades. No, I don't know. What the hell was it? The jungle of my... It was like barely <laughs> on a hill, though. I think it, it was, was like... I honestly think it was just a botanical a garden. It yeah, looked like a botanical garden. garden. I think it, it was, was just a botanical that garden. That dojo looked like a Japanese, like, 
hibachi restaurant. It did, yeah, because there was like a little bridge. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this <laughs> is just like, like pond. A, yeah, it looked I, like a hibachi yeah. restaurant. The fourth sure. album is the Grammy winning Miami Jungle. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just getting that out. Grammy winning. So for Grammy. our fourth, our fourth time fourth around, one. we get fourth a Grammy. Fourth time around, finally they get the credit they did. They deserve. It's like you know when, uh, when, when actors do like five movies that deserve an Oscar, and then like the sixth one, it, not, they don't haven't really earned right. it, it, but had, they're overdue. You right. know, they get the, the Grammy because so they had saying, a number one hit off the album. You're saying we're the Leonardo it. DiCaprio of music, yeah, basically. Yeah, the yeah, other albums were much better, but we had a number one hit off this one. Yeah, so they just couldn't deny it anymore. Yeah. Did you guys the know we'll that uh, Pharrell Williams on his uh, I'm so happy <clears throat> he wears a fucking dragon sound t-shirt? Does he? Does he really? <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, that's actually. Pretty I good. have more respect for him knowing that's that. Amazing. That's amazing. Really wonderful. Does he know what it means, though? Or did, was, I, did someone yeah, I dress hope so. him? Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Let's, I don't know. That's disappointing. You can Ooh, never tell yeah. anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's Pharrell Williams. So I don't really give a shit. <laughs> yeah. But it's fine. That's true. I won't lose sleep true. on figuring I, that one out. That's true. I don't, I don't put a lot of stock no. in him in general, so I fucking hate that song. Anyway. Well, but now you got to go back and watch the music. Now, yeah, now yeah. I'm curious. Like, yeah. what? Dragon song? All right. It just means he's been to Texas. Probably to Austin, where Mondo, uh, I'm sure. Oh, he probably went to the Elmo Draft House once. House, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. That's exactly what happened. God damn it. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure right. when I went to the Draft House, they had those shirts for sale there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I've sure. been to the Draft right. House, too. We yeah. talked about that. I kind of want one of those shirts. Yeah. yeah, it's a cool place. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. the draft house. They had like this movie distribution great. arm. Well, that's how you know this movie ended mm-hmm. up coming out, neon. right? Well, they are now. I think, mm-hmm. but they had draft house films right. for a while, mm-hmm. and they put out these Blu-rays of like Miss Forty Five and Roar, which at some point has to show up. Oh, on yeah. oh I was, oh, yeah. I, I've been kicking it around for a while. Yeah, one day, but I think they were acquiring movies that like nobody fucking gave a shit about it, except yeah. Miami Connection because mm-hmm. I went and looked like what's the most recent thing they put out it's from like two years ago so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah they put this out and yeah I, I want to say it was 2015 I thought it was like oh or 2012 or something like 12 that. you're right it's 12 mm-hmm. yeah but I also like the way that like this movie is shot on film yeah, yes. and, uh, and they it put it like out. It. Got the they, crackles it, and pops and everything. Yeah. It is not restored. It's no. just um, I mean, color corrected. Probably they took the red yeah. out of it or the green or whatever. Yeah. And like sure. boom. But it's like it's a movie. Yeah, it's got the <laughs> cigarette burns and everything. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. a film print that you're watching. It when you is, watch but it doesn't like look seen worse. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, this Samurai is, Cap was. Much I was worse. say Samurai Cap was so it's much worse. Bad. Did that go blue at some point? Oh, blue, yeah. red, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, it was no. all different colors. Remember? Yeah, yeah. blue in one scene. That red movie was like a, <laughs> that movie was like a fucking kaleidoscope. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I kind of yeah. missed like seeing it tonight. I was like, oh yeah, I remember movies used to look like this. Mm-hmm. We had scratches yeah. and like yeah. shit. You, you get know, nostalgic and shit. Yeah, yeah. And that it's green like line would just make yeah. its way across the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like listening to your dad's old records. Yeah, you get those yeah. pops and his. It's Kids great. are never going to know what that's like. Or no. now when they see it, they're going to be like, "What the fuck is yeah, wrong with this?" On? Yeah. Um. Okay, so uh, we we get all of our heroes. Well, there's only two. There's uh, uh, well, in the car- uh well really all the orphans are the heroes. Count. That's very true. But Wasn't that all of? They're all the, yeah. All, all yeah. of Dragon Town is orphans. All three of them are staying at home for yes. the climax. Yeah. Just, well, yeah. yeah. So it's only Mark because yeah. he's got to you know start home with Phelps. Michael Phelps. <laughs> Michael Phelps, where Michael Phelps finds his rage. It's well, because it's like I said earlier, the three that stayed home are the ones that they don't know Taekwondo. They know music. Right? Yeah. They know music. That yeah. makes sense. That's why. <laughs> so they can't do any fighting. exactly. That's gotcha. why they stayed home. That does make sense. Yep. That's why Angelo got me- kidnapped. Yep. Well, that's why I was thinking know. about Angelo's moment on the beach where he's like riding in the car and doing this. I'm like, that's right. not a guy who knows uh, martial arts. No. no. That's a guy who doesn't know his body. <laughs> 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 I think that moment is in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's confused as to what's going on here. Really weird. He's just like, response. I'm going to let all the hair grow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Everywhere. how we got Angelo. I'm pretty sure he uses Jerry Curl everywhere as well. Oh, probably. Mm, he probably has yeah. those Jerry Curl stains on the back of everything he sits on. Oh, too. yeah. Everything. But it's a delightful head of hair. No, it is. It's, it's oh, yeah. fascinating. It's, we need to bring that hair. It's majestic. Back. Yeah. I'm going yeah, to have to disagree yeah, with you there, say. Colin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just threw that out there. Nobody uh, said I mean, no. I mean, I don't no. know. I don't care. No. Sure, why not do yeah. it? No, I'm a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard pass for me. What is it? It's like next week with Justin Mustang. <laughs> it's a combination between like an afro and a mullet. Yeah, it, it's it's a grown out AC Slater is what it is. Yeah, Basically, it is. Yeah, yeah. A little longer, a little more party. Yeah, and you gotta have the the Magnum PI stash. 
and yep. complete the deal. It's As fantastic. we said, it's Hall and Oates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. You, you know. know. You know. That's who they are. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Jim gets uh, slashed by a uh, one of these rascally, evil, dastardly ninjas. That's right. In a scene of, again, I think the second probably time. Maybe this is where Mark or PK uh, Kim is going for his Oscar moment. Can you give us a little rendition of this, Sean? Like, what happened? This where he's just like, Jim! Yeah. yeah. Jim! <laughs> In his face. And he Jim- is two inches from this guy's ear. And mind you, Jim is not dead. No, no, he's not just at he's all. very, very, very slowly bleeding out. Yes, you know? very slowly. She, she'd be like, yeah. "Motherfucker, I'm not dead yet. Get me to a hospital." <laughs> yeah, as yeah, we're, we're all like, yelling this at when the screen. When is he yeah. going to take him to the hospital? Meanwhile, uh, first. Michael Phelps is off in the fucking jungle somewhere, and he, he meets yeah. a ninja and gets slashed. He and has, so he has to fucking rip off his shirt and do the. He has officially left Orlando. And is now in Vietnam. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He is a wild berserker who yeah. has been unleashed. Both of them are. They unleashed this- is the perfect word for this moment. Colin. Which, it like, really okay, is. Michael Phelps already has some like exaggerated features. Yes. So when he's like really hulking out like that, it's that much more terrifying. Like, <laughs> like the way he contorts <laughs> his face and shit. Is- <laughs> Look at it. it's this. I mean, these are men who were never meant to be quote unquote Athletic. action heroes. That's right. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just like- short, overly short, overly tall. Oh, yeah, but they're doing the, you know, they yeah. stab people in the neck and then like, you know, do you do that kind of yeah, whatever the, the shake the sword, before you let go you of it? Your teeth out, just like. <laughs> yeah. There was actually a point I think when uh, uh, Mark had killed the head ninja uh, that we still cut back to uh, Michael Phelps like running around in still the still going. Yeah, that guy's still fucking going. not stopping. He has energy to burn. <laughs> we've killed, we've he went and killed three innocent people after this was over. <laughs> but we've established that they're all dead because the ninja goes back and like, Master, they are all dead. You know, except for me, and that's when the ninja cuts his fucking head off right. and then has that fantastic evil villain moment where he's <laughs> like <laughs> And it echoes throughout the forest. <laughs> it literally echoes. <laughs> Uh, upon I would have given anything if during the fight between Mark and the White Ninja that we just see Michael Phelps like angrily running through the background. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, he did. Just like do... blindly running, yes. like yeah. no idea where he's he going like, no or what for. Yeah. Yeah. That at one point, he he stabs someone and he literally gets squirted in the face with blood, <laughs> and then he Hulk rips his shirt off. Yeah. yeah. This is and like, he, yeah. at the end of the fighting for him, that's when he... Yeah, yeah. I think that was Hulk's maybe out. why it was so awesome was because, like, uh, <laughs> like it's, he's it's done. over. And now <laughs> yes, he went, now no he amped up a level. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, no. It's just like, whoa, sun's getting real low, fella. Come on, come here. Sun's getting real low. Come here. <laughs> Somebody uh. talk to this man. <laughs> I, I kind of wish, wish the camera just cut to me and he would just run off. I just been gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 just, yeah. just, just literally, I just wanna, literally I, run out of the movie. To never <laughs> just run see out of the movie. Again. Yeah. Uh, and then in the hospital scene later, they're wheeling in people that he's been stabbing. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank and God that. Uh, him, and then they're at the hospital. You see him outside the window of the hospital, <laughs> still running yeah. around. Well, he, but he did have a pretty good background uh, moment where I think uh, Mark was like, you know, doing jam. Oh, he did. The, he did. <laughs> Oh, it's the it's the oh my it's the greatest thing. I want to go watch it right now. There's a, there's like a ninja coming up behind that's gonna sneak attack him, and just like off the fucking side of the screen comes Michael Phelps and kicks this ninja in the face. Yeah. I can't do it justice. It's the funniest fucking thing. Maybe we'll I've post a gif seen. of it, like a oh, gif of oh it. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. Please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes. I'll see if I can make a gif of it. I'm sure I can. Oh Fuck, my I'm god. Just gonna, I'm gonna go for the copyright infringement and just post that fucking. Yeah. Play. I think Sean <laughs> fell off the couch. Oh my there god, it was amazing. <laughs> it's so good because that guy was fucking. That guy got kicked in the face. He did. He was knocked out. He did. As far as I'm concerned. Like. For, for this movie being all like one shots, the fact that one worked out that well in this movie is, is <laughs> yeah. shocking. Yeah. Amazing. Like the fact that it looked that well and it worked out that well, timing wise, is baffling. Well, yeah. I was, you know, I mean, like as far as the fight scenes were going, it's like they, because they'd slow them down so you could actually see that it was really, you know, they were making contact. But it did seem 
like either they were shooting from the right angle or they were making contact in yeah. a lot of those things. So it's like, well, it was really, I got kicked in yeah, the I face. Really got kicked in the face. Yeah, yeah, that guy got his nose grabbed by the dude's oh two front God. toes. I and- don't. <laughs> Why is that the worst part of this movie? <laughs> Just like get your it's, fucking foot off it's his It's unsettling. Face. Yeah. I, would, yeah. I, mean, I know. It grosses me out so yeah, much. I don't like bit. it. But because his foot. So, Park. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, PK, Kim. He. It's um, like YK. YK. Kim. Oh, YK yeah. Kim. It's YK, sorry. yeah. yeah. He, uh, as part of Dragon Sounds Act, they are trying to incorporate this Taekwondo stuff in there to spread their message of peace. You don't ask. Uh, and part of it is he like puts his foot in the air, like you know, a martial art artist, martial artist can do, where the 64. foot's just like you know hanging in the air in front of uh, Jim's face, and then he puts his foot on Jim's face, and it's kind of like the foot has to crawl up <laughs> Jim's face, <laughs> like he starts at maybe his chin, and then has to like you know toe crawl inches up, up there. to his nose so he can grab his nose, his black his feet. Uh, it's well, we know that because we saw him working out earlier. Yeah. The, the soles of his feet are, are straight up black. They're yeah. disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gross. It's it's really gross. All having fun getting grabbed in the nose. I mean, I mean you have to see it's blue. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty gross. They do while they're performing their song, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. Pretty yeah. gross. It's That's a crowd pleaser. Yeah, you do taekwondo on stage while you're performing. Well, as Michael Phelps said, maybe we can incorporate you, some brain. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Michael Phelps wants to incorporate brick breaking and board breaking into yeah. their their performance as Dragon Sound. And then yeah. we can travel. We can do a world tour. It's like, who, how the fuck are you touring the world? <laughs> we can go to every place that you're from. And Which, go to every taekwondo place. Did you notice they skipped right over Jim's backstory in a perfect opportunity they had to talk about it? Like, they're like, we can go to, you know, to Ireland for so-and-so and, like, Israel for so-and-so. But yet they never mentioned we could go to Korea and we're in Africa and, for Jim. They never no, mentioned that. No, Korea. And then we could go to Black America. Black America. Yeah. yeah. He already had his backstory. Uh, this yeah. is where we find out, like, who these other people are. Right. It's just not as compelling. No. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... Well, so the movie does wrap up. Uh, Jim yeah. survives. They he take is, Jim to the hospital. <laughs> and he's, God. he's reunited with his father in a touching, touching scene. Yeah. And then uh, all of them basically pledge uh, to be friends forever. It's also another cut to, because they're just like, they're in the car and he's bleeding to death. Jim is bleeding to death. And then it's a cut to four guys sitting in a hospital. And the Wait, camera shot's yeah. dead on. And it takes you a second, but then you're just like, who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> this is an extra guy at the end there's who we don't random, know. Yeah, random there's three guys we left the house yeah. with and like, an elderly black man. And you're like, is that his dad? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it, is. it sure is. Well, the movie uh, ends with a, uh, what are we going to call it, a placard that comes up, the title card. <laughs> a freeze frame? A free, no, no. They walk well, towards the camera walk. and there's oh, a freeze yeah, frame. Freeze yeah. frame. Freeze frame, then music then swells, but then a notice from like the filmmakers A to mission us. statement. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Oh, I forgot about that. I, oh I, I blocked that out. <laughs> what was it? It says something about, like, if we can move we towards can, a world without violence, we'll achieve peace or something right, like that. If we like can that. eliminate violence, we can achieve peace. Yeah, Which, is what it's like. This is kind of like murdered <laughs> many people. <laughs> murder. People we're slaughtered. If we yeah. can murder violence, we'll be peace. It's well, like the reason we are here is to witness the violence that this movie is going to unleash upon you know its characters. Because that's what's entertaining about yeah. it. Then at the end, you're going to be all sanctimonious and go like, <laughs> "What well, we're really interested." Is peace. Not only did they murder people, but I would say Michael Phelps enjoyed it. Like, all right. Well, we've talked about this at length. So, listener, I tell you what. What we're going to do is we are going to go around the room, and you're going to hear whether or not we would recommend that you watch the Miami Connection. Uh, but first, before we do that, we're going to summon our mailman. We're going to answer some of your mail. So, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. So he has a little dragon sound shirt on. Well. So cute. You know, they are uh, they probably like twenty nine ninety nine at MondoTees.com <laughs> or something like that. I'm sure you can also pick up the amazing soundtrack album to uh, the Miami Connection. I hope one so. song on one side, the other song on the other. <laughs> and it's only like sixty bucks, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, it'll be great. 
maybe I does it come with it might come with the Blu-ray. It might get a CD or something like that. There was some kind oh, of yeah, there was an great. expensive version that you got mm-hmm. the download digital code. You got the soundtrack and poster and yeah. Um so let's remind the folks at home how they can get a hold of us because we want you to join the freak show family. So mm. you can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Also on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You know what? You can go ahead and you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can follow along on Instagram at Insta or sorry at, <laughs> at Saturday Night Freak Show for the time of your life. Tonight. I suppose I should have opened this oh, before I oh, got Colin didn't okay. open it yet. Yeah. Thank you, Igor. All right. Uh, DeLorean Dreamer writes in and says, yeah. if you're a heavily obsessed movie fan who loves to overly analyze, loves to overly analyze them or just to have a fun, casual conversation about movies you love or can't stand, then this is the podcast for you. You're goddamn right. Aw, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> Every week, it's like having a fun sit-down conversation about movies with friends, and often you'll catch yourself talking out loud back to the podcast as if you are with the group recording it. It's always a good time with a lot of laughs. Aw, you I, are I, with us. I do that I to other it. podcasts, too. I yell at them sometimes. So yeah. Do you guys listen to other podcasts? Oh, yeah. Do you yell at other podcasts when they, like, especially, I'm sure... Well, when I, they get something I wrong, do, you're like, "Oh God, damn I it!" it it's I, this. Do, I do it when they're when they're trying to think of something, and they're yes, like, "Oh, what yes. was it?" And I'm like, "You idiot! Yeah. I know what it is." Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do it all the time. Yeah, or when they bring up a moment that you thought of specifically, yeah, yeah. oh, they saw it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope we're having all those moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I hope so too. Yeah, I can, you're right. Someone yelling and yeah. yeah, well, thank you very much for listening. Thank you and for writing in. Ryan decent, Ryan X decent, decent, Ryan X decent. That'd be decent. Uh, says, uh, say what you will about, oh, sorry, about the, the Miami connection. Says, say what you will about the film as a whole, but the original songs are legitimately good songs for that time period. I love me some Miami connection. I dig this music a hundred percent. Well, I mean, there's just something about 80s music. It's catchy as fuck, I mean, man. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't yeah. stand up to, uh, eventually violence's first four albums. <laughs> By the way, our fifth album before we broke up. Is Vengeance first. <laughs> yeah, vengeance first. And then we broke up after that. That was the last one. And then we have to have people yeah. cheer us back on for a reunion tour, right? Sure, you know, Which sure. will happen, and yep. we'll think of that reunion tour name in just a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably before we're done with the, yeah. this mailbag. The final Probably. hiss of blood. Uh, Ozone Joe. <laughs> Ozone Joe. Writes in, and he says, uh, Miami Connection. It should it? be Joe's own. Sorry. Joe's own. Oh, like oh, Frozone. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Go, Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, says it's an annual watch for me. Buckle in for a bewildering plot and a rocking soundtrack. Enjoy the movie. Bewildering is the best word for this movie. <laughs> yeah, bewildering is legit. Yeah. Uh, Brent Zemecki writes in. What up? He says, oh man, you guys are finally watching Miami Connection. Sure oh yeah, he didn't have the the. Uh, good. Yeah. Oh man, you're it's, finally watching Miami Connection. It is Miami Connection. It is Miami Connection. Yeah. There's no I know, love. that's what I'm saying. He got it right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got it wrong. Yeah, uh, he did. <laughs> what a blast of a movie. One of those definition of so bad, it's good cheese fests. We'll answer it. You'll bag. find out. Uh, yeah. The B Movie <laughs> Poster Vault writes in. Yes. And says, you're in for a joyous experience of a movie. I saw this around 22 hours into a movie marathon oh, no. and had to rewatch it just to make sure I didn't hallucinate Wait, a film. A oh, yeah, it's for sure. Insane. It's one of the great rediscovered trash classics. An excellent movie to spring on the unsuspecting. Oh, yeah. I totally. There That's it is. Phenomenal. You nailed it. You That's nailed phenomenal. It. I love it. Uh, Karate Warrior 2 writes it. And says, <laughs> you can tell they had a blast making this crazy <laughs> random story, awesome cheesy music, horrible acting, hot 80s hair, even as if it isn't Lucinda Dickey, and YK Kim with no idea how to play guitar, but not giving a fuck. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. He gives this movie five random gang members running across train carriages for no reason out of five. <laughs> and P.S. Whoever dug this movie up and brought it back deserves a damn medal. It's right. such an awesome story all around. Why can't Kim is a true badass? Hashtag Taekwondo for life. I, I yeah. wish Lucinda Dickey was in this movie. I, that's what it Holy is. I feel like I she should have played Jane. Yeah, but like. They're almost oh, the same yeah. person. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Uh, Johnny New Jersey writes it. 
and says, as a fellow movie fan, much like yourselves and one that swims in the pool of bad movies, but especially <laughs> bad action movies, yes. I was cool. shocked yes. that I never came across <laughs> this movie until this year. I guess if you have a lot of passion and $1 million, you too could make a truly bad movie where people get kidnapped in front of a pizza hut. Yes. From Korean articles I read, YK Kim lives now as a motivational speaker and runs many successful yep. Taekwondo schools, which you can also see in the Blu-ray as it includes 20 minutes of info or sorry, it includes a 20 minute infomercial of YK Kim and it's full of B-roll goodies. What? From Miami yep. Connecticut. So he's like a real life yeah. Rex Kwando from yes, Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. Oh, well, holy I mean, shit. Yeah, I think his pants are probably more fabulous. <laughs> yes. I mean, it sounds like this guy is, is, yeah. Uh, and uh, about our movie Dracula, AD 1972. Yes, I'm kind of uh, sad I missed this movie based on it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't we, listen to see how. But no, looked, we we had fun with that movie. Yeah, and then <laughs> I saw Caroline Monroe, movie. and I was like, oh damn it, I'm missing a movie here. We had a lot of fun with that movie. Well, ironically, Grant Parrish writes in and says, as a kid, my best friend's dad would watch the Golden Voyage of Sinbad and comment how beautiful. <laughs> Caroline Monroe was. And he was right. She was very pretty. Very she's pretty. Very yeah. There's a reason she keeps popping up. Yeah. yeah. She's on, she the, is wall on the wall. Yeah. For yeah. sure. That's very true. So that brings us around. Oh, by the way, thank you all for yes, thank you so uh, much. Thank writing you. in. Thank I you. really thank appreciate you. it. We love we Mailbag. Uh, so now, this is, we've come to the moment that you've all been waiting for. We're going to go around the room and find out what we each thought about Miami Connection. Colin. Starting with. Colin, yes. What did you think about Miami Connection? Uh, thank you for asking, Sean. Uh, well, uh, you had things to say. Well, um, so this is my uh, my second rodeo with Miami Connection. The first time I saw it was because I don't know why I keep on like making these qualifications every time I talk about a movie. It's like, well, this is where I was in my life when I saw it. No, tonight. it's important. It's, it's important. Is it okay? Yes, it is important. Yeah. The first time I saw it was I think because somehow I you caught wind on. of the uh, Alamo Draft House thing. I started like ordering some of their movies. I was, you know, what is this crazy thing that people are talking about? I thought the movie was hilarious. I did actually think about bringing it to the freak show and have for many years, but never got around to actually pulling the plug. So thank you, Holly, for finally bringing Miami Connection My so pleasure. that we could all talk about it tonight. <laughs> However, However, that being said, tonight, I was, uh, I mean, this is a bad movie. Oh, absolutely. It's a bad movie. Um, that it's one of those movies where I think you do have to watch it ironically. I mean, we're not watching this as like, a, you know, we're watching it as like, wow, they completely were awful at mm -hmm. their jobs. And this is why it's hilariously funny. But I mean, it is when it works, it's not really like working. Right? The way that they Dep intend? Yeah, it depends on what you mean by working. The ironic version, then, mm -hmm. of the, when, from the ironic point of view of detachment, watching it, watching them fall and trip head over heels over themselves into some comedy gold. Because mm -hmm. this is the kind of stuff I like. I really don't like comedy movies, but, like, I love you watching. You like unintentional comedy. Yes, I do. Yes, because you it do. catches you off guard, yeah. right? Comedy movies set themselves up, here's the joke, and you see it coming. Right. Unintentional stuff is like, what the hell were you thinking? And sometimes you get on this, uh, it's like a, a, a snowball rolling downhill. It kind of picks up steam and more shit with it as it's going. You're just, I can't believe that I'm seeing this. This uh, is one of those movies for at least the first 20 minutes. Uh, then it hits this like dull spot where I didn't know where it was going. Uh, there's just a bunch of scenes. The fighting is like, okay. These guys clearly practice uh, somewhere, and, you know, this is the scene where they get to, you know, finally the camera's rolling, and they can, you know, punch each other and kick and do all the stunts. But I was like, what is at stake in this scene? What are we going after? These are questions that you can't ask yourself while, while watching this movie, and I think I started to, and I was like, Ugh. And then, ironically, I think after the discovery of uh, Jim's father's letter in the mailbox, <laughs> uh, the movie picked back up again. So it's like, you're good for uh, probably until they start talking about Jim's father. 
Then it goes into a lull until Jim gets the the letter from his father. He brings it back. He brings it Jim back. Jim is the heart of the movie. He, You're right, McKay. Totally yeah. is. Uh, is the, he is the most compelling character. Who is the main character of this movie? Mark. Is he? Yeah. I so. Why? I don't know. Okay, because he's the leader. <laughs> yeah, because he wrote part of it and directed part of it and cast it all and he did everything. Well, he does showdown. He has the the showdown against the lead bad guy, which I guess you're like, well, that's the role that the central character has. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like, I mean, I really don't know much about his character. I wasn't terribly interested in his character. Except he's the guy who's clearly the most skilled in in martial arts. Ironically, Jim, I think of that group as the least. But, you know, uh, I... I was still. I think I would still recommend this movie. It's like if people are, and only for a specific group of you, you are, you know, like uh, Johnny New Jersey said, you're swimming in the pool of bad movies. Well, then this is one of the great all time bad movies where it's fun to watch it. You can bust the gut laughing at it, but you know, I mean, just you got to know it's for the rest of you. It's bad, really, really <laughs> bad. Yeah. Although I did enjoy it more than Samurai Cop. Because I think I didn't recommend that one. I would recommend this one Mm -hmm. because I think I laughed harder. (laughs) You laughed more. Yeah. You did. So it worked when it was working. You laughed the hardest I've ever seen you laugh in a movie down here. Oh, because that was, was, well, you know, I mean, yeah, that that scene, you have to check it out. Like Michaela said, it is something else. Uh, But I think you have to see the whole movie. I don't think you can just go and watch it on YouTube. I think the context that gets you there is, is there like, context? There's well, that, but that's what I'm saying. There's, it, it's no, out of place it's, it's with the not, movie yeah, around it's it. It's not context, but you need the rest of the experience. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. I think if you just pull it up on YouTube, you'd be like, "What the fuck? I don't yeah. get it." Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I would recommend the Miami. No, sorry, Miami Connection. There it is, Sean. What do you think? Can I, can I just interject real quick? I have to. I don't know what you're about to say, but I love that we started this with Sean threatening to leave, and by the end he said, "I'm not ready for this to be over." And yeah. then he wanted to watch. And it he again. wanted to watch it again. I, mean, yeah. I just. That's that, very true. That yeah. Ten minutes in, he's like, "I don't know if I can watch Sean, it." Sean, Sean, there, there, was, was, there was there's so much earnestness and sincerity at the beginning of this movie. I'm just like, I don't know if I can sit here and take this. Yes. Well, shit, if this is what's going to happen. Sorry, I got to append my review. I didn't even talk about that. There is like this really like sweet earnestness to the movie itself yeah. like mm-hmm. these guys thought that they were making this positive yeah uh, they really want to heal the world with taekwondo yes they do they, they really believe do. it yes they that is their it. mission uh, and it's like wow i mean the whole idea of we're gonna make a family you know together just all these people were you know orphans we have no connection to anything else and we're gonna come together and somehow you know through the power of our rock <laughs> i love the power of our rock will heal the world <laughs> Yeah, and our Taekwondo. I mean, it's yeah. a perfect yeah. fucking marriage. So oh, imagine yeah. getting laughed at when you make this movie, putting all that into it. And you yeah. can imagine why this guy would be wrecked oh, yes. for right. years yeah. because of what he was wanted to do and the message he's putting into it. But I'm glad he came out. Mm-hmm. Eventually. Eventually. It took 25 years. <laughs> <sighs> you know, yeah. Yes, I'm <laughs> Um, I am uh, overjoyed. <laughs> uh, I'm happiest I've been in years. <laughs> um, I got uh, five great rock albums out of this uh, <laughs> movie and podcast. We so, got a Grammy. Uh, we got a Grammy. <laughs> a um, reunion tour. Uh, this movie gave me so much tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Colin is right. There was a slight lull in the middle sure. of it. Yes. We can all um, agree on that. I think that was the point where I said I need another dismemberment mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> in order to kind of like pick up the pace. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got right back into it. Um, I love uh, all these people, yeah, and uh, and this movie, mm-hmm. and I recommend the hell out of it. It is <laughs> extremely bad, horrible. Know that, <laughs> but it is awe inspiring. <laughs> the way I looked at this movie while things were happening. Uh, I recommend. This. You were at the edge of your seat. I was. I I've got to literally, literally, literally I've the edge of your seat. I've never seen that. No, Sean never seen that. No, <laughs> on the edge of his seat. I had to get closer to what was happening on screen. You guys were completely so entranced by magic. Jim's monologue. You guys could not handle Jim's monologue. No, at all. it was amazing. I wanted that to rub off on me somehow. <laughs> I don't know what it would do to me as a person, but I, I, I kind of needed it. At that point, I, I needed I needed Jim in that moment, and Jim was there for me. 
This movie was there for me when I needed it, so I recommend the hell out of it. Michaela. <laughs> Sean, I can already tell you're going to be like me, where you're going to be laying in bed at night and you can't sleep and you're going to pull up that monologue and you're going to watch it on your phone, uh, Like, but you're going to have the volume down you know, because you don't want to be too loud, but you're going to just watch that monologue until uh, it lulls you to sleep. Yep, I'm just and then, put it up in the corner. And you're going to be one of those people like me where you just like mutter under your breath, like, my mother was Korean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my father was a try- black American. <laughs> <laughs> People are not going to understand that. No, no, like it's, it's, <laughs> it's just around them, or or they will. Those are the right, people. right, yeah, exactly. Those are the yeah. right people. And like I don't, I really can't explain why that scene is so entranceing, but it just is. It's like, the, I, but it, I think we're all right. It's the rest of the movie around it as yeah. well that helps that yeah. scene be what it is. Well, and like, like it comes so out of left field that like this actor's having this super dramatic moment, and like, like, like we said, he literally steps forward to like, like you know, be like, this is my moment. And like, right? It's almost there's almost should be like, yeah, 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 it's exactly. Almost going to a flashback. Yeah, yeah. It's that scene it did alone go is to incredible, that music, didn't it? When it did, he picked it up, kind of did. It's, it's something. Yeah, yeah there's some. Like, there's a oh, moment. Shit, there's a there's shift. A dramatic well, and like, deal. But then, if you really start thinking about it, like, okay, so his mom gave him the picture when he was eight years old. But when did his dad leave? Like, you know, if you really start Timeline picking it apart, you can't think about it. But. No, this movie's absolutely terrible, but it is absolutely worth watching. Like it's, it's bad, but it's it it is so earnest and so like passion filled that like that kind of doesn't matter that it's terrible. Um, the music is fucking incredible. That that's my biggest complaint is I want more original songs. Like like three more, I'd yeah. be fine with you know. Um, they should have closed the movie out with them performing. Yeah, they should have. Or like yeah. selling out an yeah. arena or something, right? Yeah. You know, like they they graduated tour. to a bigger saying, club. Yeah. yeah. On their on their world tour. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I think we I I don't know how how much more to elaborate on what we've already said, but you gotta fucking watch Miami Connection. Like I it's I, I watched it by myself for the first time. I think that's a mistake because I remember just being like, What did I like, like what did I like? The only things that stuck with me were that fucking monologue and the music. Like yeah. everything else, it's not a good movie to watch by yourself. Watch it with other people for sure. But just definitely check it out if if you're lucky enough to live in a place where they're doing a midnight showing of it ever. Definitely go and experience that. I I could not imagine watching this in a theater with a crowd. It's got to be incredible. Mm-hmm. So, Holly. Um, when yeah, we Sean. make the stage play of this movie, yeah, yeah, oh God, absolutely. I have to imagine during Jim's monologue when the lights do go down, yeah. the guys in the back are just be singing like going, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> as he delivers his yes. monologue. That's Alpha the scene Jersey. I see. And when he, when he says my mother was Korean and my father was black American, you see cameos like of their images like yes. light up behind him. On the, yeah, <laughs> just famous black American. Yeah. Well, guys. Um, First of all, I think we need to shout out uh, Johnny New Jersey, Dom Cree, Anna, and Brent Zemecki. All three of them have written in suggesting we watch this movie. Uh, um, Dom, you finally got one right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, we're starting that beef up again, huh? Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you all. Thank you uh, specifically to Johnny New Jersey for sending me a lot of notes to look over before <laughs> this, since I had never seen it. Um, this... Just because re- obviously I, I read about this movie before we watched it, and I just I couldn't fathom what we were about to see. I was like, these things can't possibly be in this movie. <laughs> this isn't what this can't happen. And it unfolded so beautifully. It was just I. <laughs> it's like a flower blooming. It oh. was it was gorgeous. <laughs> I, I, I feel like we were all touched by this movie <laughs> in, in very different ways. And it was just, I, I really can't believe what we just sat there. <laughs> like, I, I, it's hard to wrap my head around it. It was fucking hilarious. It was ridiculous. This was just one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And I loved it. I, I completely agree. I think we're all in agreement. There is definitely a lull in the middle of the movie. We can't deny that. But it starts out so strong and ends even stronger. It's so completely ridiculous. I don't see how you I don't see how you can pass this movie up. Like you have to watch it. Everyone has to watch this movie. It's so stupid. I I can't even talk about it anymore. Like <laughs> You have to watch Miami Connection. You have to. 
So you're That's all gonna. It. What you're saying is you're gonna run out tomorrow and buy your own copy of it. You own the uh, Miami. I have, I have Prime, so I can just watch it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have Prime too. So, but it's not gonna be on there that, forever. I know. Uh, I'm gonna look in. I'm telling you this. Fold it up I'm gonna look into it. it. I'm gonna look into <laughs> the Blu-ray of this movie. Um, I'm gonna do some research on this. Uh, so next week uh, we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Michaela. Michaela, what are we watching next week? There's no way I can top Miami Connection. <laughs> so, no way. There's no if way. Goes high, we go Rest low. Is that what's going on here? I am gonna, right I'm now. gonna try to keep the same kind of vibe going though. And uh, uh, guys, I don't know shit about wrestling, but we're gonna watch No Holds Barred. Yes. Ooh. All right. Yes. <laughs> You've seen it? Yeah. I I've seen it and I like I said I don't know anything about wrestling but I've seen No Holds Barred cuz it's a wild fucking movie oh, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. It was on my list. I've yeah. Oh, I'm oh I've never seen it either. Oh, you guys oh, I've made it this far in my life. Oh. We're in for uh <laughs> Does this have Roddy Piper? No, this is, this is a Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hogan. And, and I think and David tiny, Arquette is he in it? I don't think so. Tiny Lister, Kurt Fuller in it. Oh wow. Tiny, okay. yeah. tiny right. Lister. Okay. Debo. Next week, yeah. then. Debo himself. Mm-hmm. No holds barred on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, <laughs> film freaks, uh, we're going to leave you in the basement is going dark.